so today I'm going to be filming my foundation routine and if you kind of notice something a little different or something's off about my videos, I got a new camera. I'll insert a picture right here. It's the Canon SX58S. It's super awesome. I was recommended it by Andrea Mattiano. Matt I have no idea how to say her last name, but her name's Andrea. I'll have her channel link below. She uses it and it looked amazing, so I decided to check it out and I ended up purchasing it. And this is the camera I've been saving up for. I'm so excited and sorry I kept looking through the viewfinder because I was doing my foundation and it's just like becoming kind of a habit and I need to get out of it already. Um, it's just a lot different than my old camera. Um, yeah, it's completely different. This is more of like a DSLR like camera and so it just makes me really happy. This is just like kind of like a test video so if the lighting's not quite right or it's out of focus some spots, I'm really sorry. This is the first video I've ever been filming with this camera. So yeah, I... Yeah. Oh, there it goes out of focus. Anyways, now that we have all of that whole spiel over, yeah, let's get into my foundation. First thing I use to moisturize my face is aloe vera. I love using aloe vera to moisturize my face. I think it works awesome. I have very sensitive, really oily skin. I just think it works great as a moisturizer. So yeah, definitely love that. I'm taking my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 foundation in 825 buff beige like that. I just like applying this foundation with my fingers the best so I'm gonna shake it up. So usually I just put like a pump and a half on my fingers and then I just kind of dot it on my skin. I just keep working around on my face. And usually the pump and a half is good for like this half of my face and a little on my forehead, but sometimes I have to add just a little bit more. So the next thing I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand Beige. I'm just going to put that under my eyes, so I just kind of dot it and make like a triangle shape. I don't know, there's not really like a way I do this, I just kind of make a triangle. Oh, my eyes are watering. Then I go like that under my nose. And then I just take this on any like spots that I have, so I have a little bit right there. Since I have oily skin, I do like to set my face with a powder, and the powder that I've been loving for so long now is the Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation. And now this gets really good coverage, so if you just want to wear um, concealer and powder you're good but this keeps me matte all day and I just love it and it just works so good okay anyways I have it in the color ivory too it's actually not as light as you think it would be even though it's in ivory and I'm just using the elf powder brush um, this is just like a flat top kabuki type brush I love this for applying my powder it's works amazing so then I just put some in the cap and I take it like that and I just kind of swirl it in tap it whatever and then I just pat it onto my skin. I don't want to remove any of the foundation or um, concealer that I put on, so I just pat it and then I kind of like buff it out a little bit. And it just makes me have like a nice flawless face. Now for the blush and bronzer I've been using. I've been using this little MAC um, palette type thing. I mentioned this in my favorites, I believe, and it's just the Fabric Cadabra Bronze Face Kit. Um, it was a limited edition thing. I don't know. I don't think you can get this anymore. Obviously, probably not. It's from a while ago. Um, but first, I'm going to be taking this bronzer right here. This one. And I just like to use a giant fluffy brush with this, um, to be honest. Um, I only like a sharp, hollow, like, contour, um, with my matte bronzer. And this one isn't all the way matte, so... I just take it with a bigger fluffier brush and this is more just to like warm up my skin and contour a little but not much. After I bronze my face I'm going to be taking this blush right here. It's just this really nice blush for fall and winter. I love it. It's pink but it's not too pink and it has a little bit of shimmer in it with the brush hair on my face. And I just like apply it. To be honest, like I don't really know how you would apply a blush. Um, wrong. And finally, if I want to do a highlight that day, I've been using the Elizabeth Arden highlighter. This is the Shimmer Cream in Sparkling Sands. 
and it just looks like this. It's super, super pretty. Really nice for highlighting. It's not sparkly. It's just nice and has a good sheen. Um, so yeah, it's a cream product, which I think is pretty cool. So I just put some on my finger and I just run it down my nose. My cheekbone. Cupid's bow. And my chin. This is what it looks like with all my makeup and everything done. If you want to know what this eye look is, it is um, in my Get Ready, Get Ready With Me video that had Kinsey in it. I'll link that down below also if you guys want to see that um, eye look. But yeah, I think this foundation looks super, super awesome. It's become my favorite from the drugstore and I just really love it. also had to pick a new winner of the Willow products for my giveaway since the original winner was not a U.S. resident. I'm super, super sorry about that and I'm really sorry about all you guys who don't live in the U.S. An international giveaway eventually is just pretty expensive and right now I don't have the expenses to do it yet. But anyways, the new winner of the giveaway is Elizabeth Gonzalez, so congrats. Congrats, girl. Um, yeah, so if you just want to inbox me, um, I will send you a message on YouTube telling you all I, that all the information that I need to send you the giveaway prizes and yeah, so that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.